Video content is taking over the world. And yes, I mean that in a good way. Videos make it so easy to communicate in an effective way with others who might not be right next door to you. Today, I want to show you my favorite ways to use video inside of Notion and a little behind the scenes of how I record my video content. You ready? Let's dive in. Before we get started, I wanna take a minute to introduce the sponsor of today's video. Tella is an all-in-one screen recorder that doesn't compromise on speed or creativity. With Tella, you can get high quality videos with zero editing skills, or you can also consider it Loom on steroids. Now what's even cooler is that you can embed your videos from Tella right into Notion without having to export or upload them anywhere. I love using Tella videos for my tutorials. If you grab my free life audit template, which I will leave a link for in the description below, you would see that I have recorded the tutorial on how to use the template using Tella. It is honestly the quickest and easiest way for me to make high quality videos with minimal amounts of editing on my end. Plus, it is a great experience for you too because you can easily play that video right from Notion. You can use Tella to create tutorial videos, product demos, educational content, videos for your team members, and even online courses. And Notion can be your home base for all of that content. Another place I love to use videos for in Notion is my SOP page, otherwise known as standard operating procedures, which if you're a small business and you don't have SOPs, you might wanna get on that. SOPs are crazy important to have, but sometimes they can be kind of time consuming to put together. So if you're creating a video of you doing the process, just as you would want somebody else to do the process for you, that is saving you so much time and it is so easy to do. Now, I've had a few people ask me how I create my Notion tutorials with my face in the bottom of the screen. And before using Tella, honestly, I did not have a great answer. I was actually filming my screen and my face separately, one with the built-in Mac screen recorder and the other with my camera. And on top of that, I was doing all of the edits by hand, which if you're doing the math, that is literally editing two videos to get the end result. And while that works, it is incredibly time consuming. And guys, it's 2024. It's time for us to start using tools that are going to do this heavy lifting for us so we can spend our precious time with our family or doing needle moving tasks. So I actually wanna take you behind the scenes with me today to show you exactly how Tella is making editing an absolute breeze. To record using Tella, you have three different options. You can use the Mac app, the Chrome extension, or you can just use your web browser. Now, no matter which extension you use, they are all gonna take you back to the web browser to do your actual editing. So we're just gonna start there today because that's gonna be the easiest. So here is a look at my Tello workspace. Right away on the side, you can see there are different channels here that you can use to categorize your videos and keep them organized, which I absolutely love. I have two channels right now. One is my YouTube channel and then the other is for all of the tutorials that I'm going to be doing for Notion. One of these days, I'm gonna go back and redo all of my Notion tutorials using Tella because it is just that amazing, but that's a project for another day. <laughs> to start recording a brand new video in Tella, all you have to do is click on this new video right here. It's going to ask you to give you permission for the microphone and the camera. I'm just gonna stop my camera so you don't have to see me twice right now. But you can see here that you have multiple different options for which cameras you want to use. I actually like to use my iPhone. It is super easy to connect. I don't have to worry about trying to like hardwire my camera to my laptop. So that is an option for you there. And then you can choose to share screens either by sharing your window or sharing your screen. So if we look along the bottom here, we can see a couple different options for recording. We have the quick option, which means if you're taking a video really quick and sharing it right away, this is a great option for you or you have the multi option, which means you can record multiple clips in a row. I love this option because it can make it super easy to record different parts of your workflow all in one video without having to worry about editing out those pauses. Along the very bottom down here, you can see where those new clips kind of stack up so you can see each of those clips as you're recording them. Now, I want to show you a neat little trick on how you can record your mobile device from your laptop. So I'm gonna hide myself from the bottom of the video real quick and show you that. So I'm actually coming to my Tele app on my Mac for this one. And all I'm gonna do is go to my iPhone and choose to screen mirror to my MacBook Pro. Now, once it pops up, we'll be able to record my phone right from my laptop. Here it is. So. Now we can come in here, do whatever we're going to do for 
our recording and then of course stop mirroring to end that. And then all we did to open the web editor was click on the preview button. I'm gonna actually take you in with that video that we just recorded and we're gonna do some editing to it so you can see how the editor works. The first thing I always like to do is trim the front or back end if there was any dead space that I want to remove. So we're gonna go to the trim option here and you have two ways that you could do this. You could either find the spot that you want to remove in the video, like let's say I want to go right where I start talking, we can hit the split key and then delete that portion. Or what we could do is just grab the track and drag it to where we want it to start. What we're actually gonna do for this video is trim it down to only show my mobile phone screen so that we can crop it to the size of that screen. So let's go ahead and find our stopping and starting points. Let's call it good there. And I'm just gonna drag it down. And then our stopping point will say is right there. So now we're gonna head to the crop tool because we can crop out these black sections. All I'm doing is dragging the edges to match the size of my phone screen. Go ahead and click done and there we go. Now we just have our phone showing. Now we can also change the background if we want to. We can make it a different color, a solid color or a gradient. You can also choose an image or an animated video but I just like to choose the color of my brand colors because then it feels very specific to me. You also have the option to choose a border if you want to add a little shadow effect to it or even kind of a little cartoony effect to it, totally up to you. I just like the plain border here. And then we also have the option to choose different layouts. So this is probably my favorite part of Tala, I'm not even gonna lie. As you can see, there are tons of different options here. This is my classic little circle in the bottom of my video like I have now. But as you can see, if we scroll down to the bottom, there's options for screen only. And I've got this one selected at the moment because you can see it's within the bounds of the background. But we can also choose to make it full size, which just takes up the entire screen. Now you also have the option to add multiple layouts to a single clip. So let's say I want to find where I opened Notion up. Okay, let's say about there, I'm gonna add a layout and then I'm gonna find where I closed Notion and right about there, I'm going to add another layout. So now in this middle section, we can add a completely separate layout than what I have going right now. Again, if you have your camera on, you have multiple different options of what you can do here but I'm just going to go ahead and enlarge the screen all the way. And then if we check our transitions, we have two options. We can have the smooth transition and the hard cut transition. I highly recommend the smooth transition because it just makes it so easy. And let me show you how this looks here. Do whatever we're going to do for our record. Like, do you see how it enlarges it and shrinks it so smoothly? It is amazing. Now, if you don't necessarily want to use the classic wide view screen, you can also choose a portrait option, which is more along the lines of like a mobile device. So we'll see that one. Or if you want to make a square one, let's say for like Instagram, you can do that too. We can come to that option and see it's now a square. I'm just gonna choose the portrait option since that's going to fit our phone video the best going to add soft borders. I like the little rounded borders on mine. And then check this out, there we go. And then once we're finished, we can just hit the finish button here. And now we can watch our video back. Forward my phone right from my laptop, here it is. So now we can come in here and do whatever we're going to do for our recording. And then, so you can definitely see how smooth those transitions turned out. Once we've finished our video, we have a couple options. We can use the share link right here to embed it into Notion or share it with a friend, or we can also add a button here. So if you have a link that you want to add that references something else that you might be talking about in the video, you can add that link right there so the person that's watching has that reference point. Now we can always go back and edit our videos. There is the edit button up here, or we can download them if we want to say, post them onto YouTube. And that, my friends, is just how easy it is to edit with Tella. If you're ready to start crafting your own amazing videos, you can get a free seven-day trial of Tella and 30% off your subscription for life using my link in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the behind the scenes of how I record my videos and that you have some amazing ideas of how you can use videos in Notion.
Be sure to stick around for more awesome content on Notion, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.